And we're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiast. See and Joel, just Joel. Here with your next dose of AK. This week we're covering new blades from Tops, Tor, Finch, Sig, Slevy, and Red Horse. <laughs> I was going to do that, but. Were you? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to begin with the latest version of the Tops El Chapo Cleaver. Ah. Yep. So originally it had a black canvas micarta handle and a 1095 HC steel blade with acid rain finish. So the new version has a light gray canvas micarta handle with a six inch sniper gray finish 1095 HC blade. It's still that mega 11 inches overall that we know. Comes with a black Kydex sheath, if I could air quote uh, that. A blade I cover. More like a blade, yeah, yeah, like a blade cover. And it also has a Topps survival whistle. Can't beat like that. The old Chapo, designed by Topps El Presidente. Leo Espinosa is primarily made for cutting meat and those heavier veggies. Yeah. I like it. Heavier veggies. Mm. Yeah. You know, like broccoli stock. Mm -hmm. You gotta have something to rip through that. Use this cleaver at home or at the hunting camp for just one thirty-seven eighty-four. From Atlanta.com. All right, you know what? You go ahead. You I'm just, in for any cleaver. It isn't two hundred bucks. That's great. That's great. One thirty-seven, made in the USA. I'll shave with it. Sounds good to me. I'd have it. All right. Uh, well, in that and case, stick. nice and thick. We'll Reminds just, me of the Topps Dicer. That's the one that... Uh, the XX Dicer? Yeah, yeah. you're kind of like, oh, what's this for? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to move on to the Tor XT1 Bravo. Wow, that's something good to move on to. Yeah, so this new one comes in G10 and carbon fiber. So we have... Guess which one we have. The carbon fiber one? Yes! That is awesome. I know. So... It is full 8 inches when opened and sports a 3.25 inch CPMS35 recurve blade. Wow. Yeah. With hand ground, bevel, jimping, and stone wash like finish. Blade is opened with a dual sided thumb studs. There it is. This frame lock has a hybrid handle. Hmm. Made of carbon fiber, titanium, and stainless steel liners the liners on that side obviously there's also a titanium billet milled tip up pocket clip and finally there's a black carbon fiber backspacer slash liner hole hmm. made in the USA this folder comes with a box cleaning cloth sticker yay for 450 lionknife.com there's the day yep so I liked the XT1 Alpha and this knife is very similar to that I think the only like major difference is the combo handle. And I think, you know, it's not a bad thing to add to the series. I like it. It's a little much in price for not being the full titanium. I feel mm. like if you're going for 50, you need to have the full titanium. But it's nice quality and it's made in the USA. Well, and I like it. Too. So, yeah. All right. So? Anything you want to add? Oh, I'm all in on it because... Uh, all in. You know, it's a niche company. Mm -hmm. They don't make a lot of them. I mean, you can't really compare them to somebody who runs them off the line. You know, they make it in the USA. They don't really make folders. They're, they're more fixed blade. Usually, yeah. And they do a nice job with it. Next one. Mm-hmm. So, you know what? Best I'd have one. I don't think I'd get one of these yet because I don't drop 450 online. Mm. But there are people who... can't say I haven't. Next, Carrie. Navajos Barbado Bombas. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, how do you feel about that? I still have it, so mm -hmm. it's good. So, BB, I'm calling it the Banner Ray. All right. What are you calling it? The Banner Red. There it is. Close enough. Three options. Black G10, Dark Green Micarta, and a Damascus Carbon Fire One. Shocker. Mm-hmm. So this folder is 7.9 inches when fully deployed and has a 3.48 inch Nitro V steel drop point blade with jimping 0.12 inch thickness. This model has the black stone wash finish blade. Handle is stainless steel bolster and then a dark green canvas micarta inlay on both sides, might I add. Wow. With milled holes all the way through. So they did the holes on the scales and they did them through the liners. So I imagine most holes. See right through... 
to my hand. Those holes go all the way through, don't they? Mm, no, mm -hmm. sometimes I just put them in the liners. Operating on cage ceramic ball bearings. This frame locks blade is opened with a gym to flipper stud. Comes with a pouch, cleaning cloth, and stickers. There it is. So you can snatch up a Civivi Banneret. Banneret. For yourself, starting at just $93.50 from AtlanticKnife.com. You say banana. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do I think? A about large this knife? Yellow, yellow fruit. fruit. Can you use it in a sentence? Something about bananas mm -hmm. with banana rama. Banana. I can't remember. Right. Go ahead. I gotta be honest with you. I like this knife. I haven't been very keen on uh, Civivi's lately. Very keen. Keen. That's the word I like to use. And I'm not very. Uh, I don't have another word besides partial keen. to partial to Nitro B. Yeah. But when I saw it, I was like, "Wow, that's really nice. I like the way it looks. I like how their little detail here kind of matches up nicely. Mm-hmm. Very nice little knife. Nice. I'm pretty happy with it too. <clears throat> I liked the milled whole look, and they did it through the whole thing. And I like that they did it with the combination of the stainless steel bolster and the dark green micarta. I would stick with this one. It opens well. Nitro V, as you said, mm, yeah. it's alright. I'm okay with the knife. It's not all smiles and sunshine on this show, by the way. You'll see in a little bit. <laughs> Next up, Fig Compound Automatic. But first, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring, ring the bell. That way you're linked to AK and notify when we drop new content. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite term is drop new content. We'll be starting a big giveaway the same week as our Black Friday event. Well, you got a special shirt made. Yes, I did. How did you do that? Very carefully. Of course, you know, our Black Friday is a little bit different. Buy one, get one freeze. Mm -hmm. Real discounts, half price stuff. You know how it works. Real. As always, free shipping. We won't forget that. Free part, shipping. Too. Yeah, we don't cut it just because it's Christmas. We're like, oh, free oh, shipping. Oh, probably some giveaways. Oh, too. we have free shipping all the time. So, Somebody called and they were talking about an item and they're like, oh, so how much is that? And I told him, I said, and of course we offer free shipping. He's like, yeah, I watch your videos. You mentioned that a lot. You just like, said, yeah. well, as always, free shipping at AtlanticKnife.com. Um, I should have done that And waited too. for the ding. All right. Back so, to the knives. Here we go. So we're on to the SIG Compound Tactical OTF Automatic. Wow. I know. Only one option right now, but do we really need any others? We don't need options in automatics. Right? We are so biased. Eight and a half inch when fully engaged. This automatic made in collab with Hogue. By Hogue has a three and a half inch clip. CPM. SWV. Blade. That should have been clip point, shouldn't it? Yes, clip I didn't point. And say the point part. That's okay. Clip point. CPM. SWV. Blade. Cryogenically heat treated. Unlike Ted <laughs> Williams' head, which was cryogenically frozen. Hand sharpened with hone edge. This blade also features a gray PVD coating and eighth and inch thick. Of course, it has stainless steel and by dextrous tip down deep carry pocket clip. Handle frame is solid black G10 with checkered texture and internal 6061 T6 hard anodized aluminum chassis. Blade is deployed and retracted with ambidextrous slide lock trigger. And you How many notice, miles a gallon does that get? I'm not wow. sure. Wow, chassis, it's good. checkered texture. Oh! Wow, my left hand sucks here. <laughs> I need to start working you with those. You're gonna hurt yourself. Okay. What are those things? Oh, the little uh, hand things that little I hand. use. Yeah, that way one yeah. day I can crush an apple. Well, they're meant to make you a man. So mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd be using them about you. But. Get mad. Oh, did we it's mention that it comes with a zippered case? No. And it weighs only 3.6 ounce. Here's the case. This automatic OTF is only 300. And thirty-one dollars forty-six cents. Wow. Yeah, I know it's a lot of numbers. It's a lot of numbers. I'm sorry. So, from alanknife.com. Mm -hmm. Can't forget that. So, I really like this knife. I'm gonna let you hold it. I'll hold it. Yeah. So, it's a good size, quality steel pocket clip for lefties, and it's got the snappy action. All right. They can't see you. You're oh. behind the. There you go. <laughs> well, he fixed that. <laughs> You're gonna damage the only binder we own. <laughs> I would have liked maybe a little more design on the front, or maybe a co some color. All right, I'll stop. Like they could have made the SIG something a different color, mm -hmm. white or something. But I think it's awesome as is, and it's made in the USA. So something about Hogue. We really like Hogue. I don't know why, but we just do. It's your turn. What do you think of this? What do I think of it? Wow. I like the way it snaps. I mean, it just... 
I don't know. I mean, it's, it's I like bowl, every I other bowl with OTF. I my right hand, so maybe that's but it. something about it. It's the way it opens. I don't know what the. I can't get. I can't pinpoint it. It's just not happening. No, not left hand. That's it's okay. Just not happening. No All right, is. so let's move on to the next one. All right. There you go. With that, we're on to the Finch Halo. So it's following the Sig Auto. Whew, I wouldn't want to follow the Sig Auto. Anyways, comes in multiple options. There is military blue and redhead. Mm. Yep, so we have both to show you. So this folder is 7.1 inches overall with a 3.1 inch 14C 28 inch steel blade with black finish on both models. No jumping. No jumping. Disappointing. I know. Designed in Steelwell, Kansas. This Halo. Lantern lock features a G10 handle. Tip up pocket clip. Glow in the dark logo shield. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Blade is deployed with a jumped flipper tab. Of course, the insides of the military blue are yellow instead of black like on the redhead. Sounds like Ukrainian military to me. Okay, treads from your pocket with a halo today for just 105 from Hmm, LineKnife.com. All right, I'm going to have to go first. I know it. I don't really know what to say about this knife. It's a little odd coming from Finch. The color combo on this one and the steel. It's 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 nice. It's not me. Someone it's nice graphics with the sticker. Yeah, I do love the sticker. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of that uh, that logo that appears at the beginning of Midnight Club where she goes, Angel. It looks yep. just like that. He probably stole it from that. Ouch. Nah, he doesn't do that. He's cool. He doesn't steal. All right, he so kills. it's not you. That's where you're at? It's not me. Mm -hmm. no, it's not me. All right. Well, it's not me either. Okay. Did I pronounce that correctly? Sure. Great. It is not I. Not the level of steel I would want. And not the design. Kind of reminds me of one of their first ones. The Cimarron, the Cinnamon, or Cimarron. I don't even know what it's called. Cinnamon. Whatever it was, we didn't... Uh, yeah. And purchase a lot of them because, you know, 14C28, this country, kind of is what it is. So, there you go. So I told you it wasn't all smiles and cries. Well, I guess it is some. Next. That's all we have. That's all you got? Yep. Wow, that's really deep. And it's on to the Red Horse Karma Hawk. Can you find it? I was going Karama Hawk. Karama Hawk? Like Karambit and Hawk. You want to go Karama Hawk? I want to go Karama Hawk. I want to go Karma. Karama Hawk. Karama. Man. Oh, you know what? I see it. Like Bahama. Karama. Okay. Several options. Too bad that wasn't bigger. <laughs> <laughs> there are the bare bones wow. models. The no handle scales. Yeah. The ones with the black G10 handle scales. And we've got the bronze yep. with scales. So this tool is 5.8 inches overall with a 2.8 inch cutting edge and about 0.187 inch thickness. This one piece CPM D2 steel instrument is a unique pairing between the Karambit and a Tomahawk. It's designed to be used with minimal training and can be as versatile as you need it. It also makes an excellent grass... Gra I had this problem before. An excellent glass breaking tool oh and even yeah. includes a pry bar at the bottom of the handle for easy bottle opening and prying handle on this one comes with the black g10 scales mm-hmm it's also a black kydex sheath mm. hmm. you can choose from stone wash or cerakote finish if you're not a fan of bronze acquire you a red horse Kar karama hawk karama hawk Karma Hawk, Karama Hawk, Karama Hawk. I get it because of the Karambit ring. Yes. Starting at just one sixty-five thirty. From Melanknife.com. Sorry, I was, I was looking at the reverse. Grip All right. This. You can go first. Well, I have several things to say. One, mm -hmm. if we were going to use it for a little chopper while we were camping or whatever, I'd like it to be just a little bit bigger. But I was also thinking, since it is a Karama Hawk. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could carry it this and just kind of carry it every day, if you know what I mean, for a little uh, self defense, maybe. But then I had another problem. What do you mean, do? Stick it in my sock? I mean, there's no way to actually carry it. Because there's no, like, loop or clip no, nothing. or nothing. So, neck chain I mean, or... I guess you're just going to throw this in your pack and it's not going to take up much space. And you can chop some. Well, you can strap it in those vegetables. Those but you know, when you get the hard cord. vegetables, you got to come with this sucker here. So I mean, look. The heavier vegetables. Yeah, I mean, but I, but I'm also game for any axe that you can hide in your hand. 
Well, that, that's true. So, you know. I do like the small of it, but look, it's a nifty little tool. But I think for the price, it's too small. And it's not enough high-end steel for me. If D2 for, what was it, 165 for the plain stone wash? It just seems, it's just a little much in my opinion. I mean, you can get a regular non-doll sized axe mm -hmm. for the same price. Or you can get a tops like machete or something. You can get this if you, you know, want a, a cleaver or an axe type thing. You can go something else tops. It's To me, I just think it needs design work, the Karema Hawk and the sheath. Both of them. The sheath's not that great. Well, you know, they're not all tens, and everybody deserves a swing and a miss every once in a while. So, that's, you know, you can't true. make them all. I mean, plus, you gotta give them some credit for trying something a little they bit different. They did try something different. Even I I've will seen give this them that. Before. Well, <laughs> the, they did the, the Malice, which is mm -hmm. a karambit, and it has a very similar style. That's kind of their thing, is that they do this and they do like a chunky scale. Yeah. An extra thing to grab. Chunky scale. That's a good way yeah, to put it. That's a chunky scale. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just. I think maybe if they made it like 120, I would have felt a little better. But 165. Yeah, these people have a cigar cutter for 395. So that, you know. it's like holding art in your hands. It is the video. So with that, we're going to end the video act on a high note. I know. Are we? Yes, with the latest revival of the Tor Raven fixed blade. Oh, you're yep. saying it's a high note. Maybe I'm, I'm not saying it's a high note. It's my high note. Let's do it. So available in two options: ebony and shadow. I can't black. even see it. We're showing the ebony today. It's 10.25 inch overall with a five and a half inch CPM 3V steel blade. That is about what, 0.1875? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can guess that from here. Ground with an extra high bevel for longer sharpening life and reduced weight. This blade is built for the heavier tasks, not just the heavier fruit. Tor even added a harpoon false edge on the top of the blade with 45 degree grinds, leaving a seamless transition to the tip. This carry also has a reverse black G10 grip handle, sports rear finger grooves, fluting texture like on the field 2.0, fluting. lanyard hole, and pommel jimping. Lastly, this fixed play kicks off Tor's own breacher ball technology. What? I know. They created their own tungsten carbide ball for the pommel. It offers the same glass breaking effect, but with more comfortability. Effective on standard tempered and safety glass. Hmm. I know. That's interesting. Yep. Next thing you know, they're going to put a spark plug in the bottom. Maybe they will. All right. So this is made in the USA. Carry comes in a black Flex Tech Kydex sheath, cleaning cloth sticker, and lube. Have the most comfortable and effective breacher on the market. In your hands for only three fifty. I knew you were going to make me say that. From LandF.com. Well, that's what they call it. I know. I knew so, I'd be saying it. That's tour. It's all tour. So, I love the look of this knife. It's probably my third favorite tour knife ever, after the Chasm and the Feel 2.0. It looks amazing. It fits the hand perfectly, and the shadow black one has these red liners that add that pop of color that I like. Mm -hmm. Very tops esque A little actual jimping right here would have made this A+, plus and A++++. Plus plus plus. I would have been writing on the walls. Because right. I don't like this zigzaggy Stuff <clears> I got doing. you. Right. Other than that, it's perfect. I love it. And you can choke up on the blade there with the false wow, harpoon edge nice there. That was nice. I was like that. All right, I dig it too. Okay. It's okay. actually probably one of my favorites this week. I don't think it's my exact favorite. It might be, but you know, have to wait. <laughs> have to wait and see. We'll have to see. Um, I always do a good job with fixed blades, so I don't really know what that'd be to complain lane, about. But uh, no clip on the sheath, which yeah. is okay, because you can always uh, just make your own by paracording it to something. Mm -hmm. So I'm okay with that. Oh, and they sell the, um, they sell the, the C-clip thing. I forget what they call it, but you could just get one of Molly and stick it on there and make mm -hmm. it a Molly sauce so it opens up. Gotcha. All right. It's good. Wow. Yeah, I know. That was our final carry. Yep. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring that bell. That way you get all things AK without having to send out a search party. Did, did you tell me we do bloopers each week? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I don't know. If, well, you know what? We probably will have something. Oh, I bet we will. So don't forget about LandNight.com's Black Friday event happening November 24th through the 28th. It's not there, but the editor will pop it up for me. We'll be doing special giveaways, free items of purchase, and deals on killer gear from brands like Saw, Gerber, Cold Steel, and more. Tons of them. Buck. 
You can see Black Friday deal updates on all our social media pages like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, Instagram, and Wumble. We'll always be posting, except when it's Joel taking over some things. Then we'll be a little late. Sorry. Mm -hmm. You can also check out our podcast, Gearing Up with AK. It's on Spotify and a few other podcast hosting sites. Okay, with that, we're on to our favorite knife this week. See? Who goes first? No, I'm well, going first. Mine is just no doubt about it. Oh, no doubt. Oh, okay. You, go ahead. It's a, it's a tough call this week because I liked a few of these equally. Like, I liked this one and I think think this one equally because I really I like this I like one, this one I like too, the actually. look of that I just don't like the steel that much yeah, you know where I'm going this is cool it's going sick. I'm just a big child it's that simple you give me a little outfit and I'll head over to Heidi Klum's party so, that's great you know. I'm probably I'm gonna have to go with the, this tour the raven can't beat it it's just look at it look at it mm -hmm. it's so nice and I love the fluting that they do on the handles. I know. Fluting. Fluting. Yeah. You thought you heard the word the fluting. fluting. I know. On the knife show. <laughs> yeah. It just, it's nice. That's it. Yeah. With that, I'm seeing this is Joel. Just Joel, and we are signing off. Alrighty, the Finch Halo is bringing up the rear mm. of the SIG Auto. I'm sure it loves following it. So anyways, multiple options. There is Military Blue and Redhead. Yes, you heard correct. Redhead. Yep. We have both to show you. Crispy would be happy. Made with... Yeah, I know. Ah, look who made it to I see to us. start again. Just I tried kicking him off. You told me up. it wouldn't be an issue. When I'm, so I'm like, I'm counting on him. I'm like, he's going to handle it. Hey, let's see how this OTF works. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, he shook off his leg. Probably has a little uh, little litter left. Cat litter on it. Yeah, sucks when it falls. <laughs>